Hi everybody, this is Maria Dolan, Marketing Director for Harbor Crossings. Today we're looking at 29 Lewis Avenue, a two bedroom, two bath manufactured home in Harbor Crossings manufactured home community. Wow, my lens is really dirty. I am uh, doing so many videos, I'm forgetting to put my lens on. We're getting so many houses delivered in all three of our communities that I failed to put my lens cap on and now I'm seeing some really dirty filming. My apologies for that. So this house arrived and was put in the field and then it was brought over to the lot because we needed one house to go on first. So 31 Lewis went on first and then 29 Lewis. And as you can see, the guys were all on hand to make this happen. And it was a very quick process. The um, driver from Starfleet, who is hired by Redmond Homes to deliver homes, was able to do both houses. Here's Mr. Dolan, and this is the side of the house. There's Joe, our maintenance man and director of maintenance. And this house is really lovely. It's um, the same floor plan as the one next door. So 31 Lewis is the blue one and 29 Lewis is this one. And um, in the beginning you saw pictures of the house uh, days later where the skirting was already on. So things are developing very quickly and now we're on 27 Lewis's lot looking at 29 Lewis. Now let's take a peek inside. This footage is from 31 Lewis because I cannot find the film I did inside 29 Lewis. So I know that's all very confusing to you but the houses are exactly the same. It's got a front door, a little hall um, guest closet or coat closet, and a little pantry that separates the living room from the kitchen. Gives you a little bit more privacy between the rooms. This is all the equipment we have to put up. The guys will be busy putting um, a lot of different things together in the house. Anything that was fragile like uh, glass fixtures and the furnace lid and anything that goes on top of the house, like the exhaust fans, all that gets done afterwards. This um, house is vinyl flooring throughout. It's got the, um, okay, here's a look in the closet. It's got the um, wall resistant, water resistant wallboard paper. So it's uh, drywall and then it's papered so that it's um, easy to wipe off. Here it is in the kitchen. You've got four appliances, the microwave, the stove oven, the dishwasher, and the refrigerator. We're happy to have refrigerators because for the longest time we were not able to get refrigerators. There seemed to be a shortage of refrigerators, but now things are um, back on schedule. Although apparently we cannot get side-by-side -side refrigerators anymore. Um, here is a closer look at the bronzite laminate countertop and it's got the little four inch backsplash that matches the countertop. Here's a look at the microwave up close. This is white cabinetry. Here's your double bowl stainless steel sink. Let's take a peek inside the dishwasher. Let's take a look inside the cabinets. There's your adjustable shelving. Those are great hinges and those are the European pools for opening the cabinets. As you can see, everything is strapped um, when it's in transit. Here's a look at this bonus pantry area on the other side of the refrigerator. Sometimes the house comes and it's got just a little stub wall, but in this case, our son designed the kitchen with the um, coat closet and the pantry. That's your cottage door in the back. By the federal HUD code, you have to have uh, access to leaving the home in case of a fire, so there's two doors. 
Here's your 100 amp panel, electric panel. Everything is labeled for you. This house is a champion home and our um, division of champ champion has like, I don't know, 15, 20 divisions and ours is Redmond Homes, which is in Ephrata, Pennsylvania. And that's where this house came from. There's the laundry area with the wire rack and um, the buyer provides the washer and dryer. Now we're going to take a look at the first bedroom and the first bathroom. Here's the first bathroom. Whenever we have two bathrooms, we have one uh, shower stall and one tub. So you'll see this is a one piece fiberglass shower stall with two seats. There's the commode and the vanity and the framed mirror. And again, the light fixture hasn't been put up yet because the house was in transit. And again, we have to put in the shower door. We'll do bypass glass doors there. Now into the first bedroom. These are thermal pane windows. And this is an Energy Star certified home. So you've got a lot of insulation behind the walls that you really don't know about, but we make a, um, a point of adding. These are um, two panel bypass doors for the closet and they're protected in transit there's your wire rack for your closet now this information is for 31 Lewis but um, inside 29 Lewis is the exact same data plate inside the closet of the first bedroom and also the water valve turn off for the whole house. Typically it's under the house and we pay extra to have it inserted in a much more accessible place. Behind that door was a hot water heater and now crossing over through the kitchen, through the living room and into the second part of the house which is the second bathroom and the second bedroom. So here's a, a peek into the second bath and there's your fiberglass one piece tub. And there is your cosmetic box or medicine box, your commode, your vanity and porcelain sink and your framed mirror. And of course we'll put the lights up once the guys get working. They've been doing the outside. They've been doing the skirting and the steps. Hopefully we'll get the, interested buyers to come in and visit this house now that it's arrived. Here's the furnace and again the furnace storage were sitting in the living room floor during transit and then we'll insert them as um, the construction progresses. Here's the second bedroom. Again thermal pane windows, the bypass closet doors, the LED lights in the ceiling, vinyl flooring throughout the house. And a peek into the closet and the rest of the area. So go to our website if you're interested in a house just like this, we'll be building two more at 27 Lewis and 25 Lewis, which will be coming within the next two weeks, one of them, and two weeks later, the next one. Go to our website, myhomeinharborcrossings.com. That's 29 Lewis being put in place. And now a sneak peek at all of the photos that go with 29 Lewis.
Harbor Crossings is a Dolan Homes community owned by um, the Dolan family. We're a small family business. We've been in operation for almost 40 years now. This is Robert Dolan, who man is the managing member of Dolan Homes. We build innovative quality manufactured homes in our three New Jersey communities. In Edison Mobile Estates, Harbor Crossings, and Carteret Mobile Park. This is my husband, my nephew, and my son. This is our amazing crew. Everyone's on board to build you the most beautiful manufactured home. This is our maintenance team in Harbor Crossings. This is our construction team. Our community is um, a beautiful, safe location for having a home, making it affordable. Harbor Crossings pays the real estate taxes, so you're leasing the land, and we're building beautiful manufactured homes. This is my husband and myself. This is our office fronting Black Horse Turnpike. You can email us for an appointment. We see everybody by appointment only. This is our office. We have everybody go to the website where all the explanations, the process, and the available homes are listed. We're really proud of our location. We're in the downtown Egg Harbor Township area, just about to be redeveloped, which is called the Cardiff Redevelopment and it's going to encompass the whole um, area in which we are located. And they'll be adding more sidewalks and better access to stores on the other side where the old Boscovs and the Harbor Square is located. And it's a very exciting time to be in Egg Harbor Township. We're minutes from the beaches and great, great locations. So come check us out. We can't wait to hear from you. There's our website, that's where you start.